Welcome everybody to Card Hunter. My name is Maxwell and this is a game that I've been recommended by a few people. It's a browser based uh, strategy RPG style game and like I said a few people have suggested that I check it out and have a look at it so that's exactly what we're gonna do today we're gonna have a look at card hunt and see what it is see what it's all about and see if it's any good like I said it's free and it is browser based so you can just go and click on the link in the description if you want to sign up and have a try of it yourself so I've gone through the very basic tutorial but I'm guessing the next bit is a little bit of an extended tutorial so we're gonna go and uh, have a play through that and see how it goes. Uh, our tale begins in Card Huntria. Card Huntria? In the Orc's Head Tavern, a level 1 tavern. Okay, let's have a look in there. An old man staggers through the door, blood streaming uh -oh. from his side. Help, monsters are attacking the village. Huh. Who will save us? Uh, who indeed? We get a dwarf warrior, a human warrior, or an elf warrior. Is there really much difference? Um, dwarf's slower, but got more health. The elf's quicker, but got less health. And the warrior is the uh, the middle ground. I think we'll go with the warrior. Oh, what's his name? We can go random. Wow, Helbo, that'll do. <laughs> okay, Helbo hears the call to adventure. Strides over from the barn, pledges to help Yay! the old man. It's time for your first adventure. Click exit to return to the map. Okay, we'll go back to the map. Ooh, raid on omelette. <laughs> Alright, the town's called omelette. Yeah! Uh, the raid should be pretty easy for someone who's already defeated Greenfang. Uh, okay. Oh, begin huh. the adventure. Right, the streets of omelette. Uh, the village of Omelette's peaceful existence is torn asunder by the din of battle. A kobold raiding party has descended from the hills and set about ruthlessly sacking the small community. Drawing your sword, you rush to repel the invaders. So the way this works is, it's uh, like I said, it's a, it's a top-down strategy-style game. Uh, ah. You have your little character here. All these kobold raiders are in a group. Okay. Uh, and you get you draw cards, and uh, cards allow you to perform actions so we are going to run we're going to run to there huh. and that's the end of my turn uh, and then the kobolds get to act and they both run as well and then I'm going to oh. smack him in the face <laughs> and then he's going to huh. weak strike me back and uh, then I'm going to punch him in the face again and we get him killed. He's going to run in, and we don't have anything else to do apart from walk, but we're in range to punch him anyway, so we'll pass. He's going to weak strike me, and then we'll pass again. When you both pass, you get dealt a new start. You get dealt a new hand. You keep existing cards. You get dealt one movement card, uh, as always, for free, just in case. Uh, and then we draw two more cards, and then, so I guess we just punch him in the face until he falls over. Yeah. Not much uh, tactics at the beginning of the game. There we go, adventure complete. Onward! Aftermath, the villagers saved and the remaining kobold raiders scamper off into the fields. The grateful villagers reward you handsomely. The task now remains to track these miscreants back to their lair and put a stop to the attacks. Let's collect our loot. Yay! Open chest, what do we get? We get some pickled herring and amber shards. Alright, let's, uh, let's have the pickled herring and the, the amber shards. Oh, the armory, a level one shop. Head to the armory to exchange your loot for something useful, okay. Yay! Uh, do we just do that to sell? Yep, let's sell the pickled herring and let's sell the amber shards. Uh, because you don't have a weapon in this slot, your deck only has these weak cards in it. What do we have here? We have a Woodsman's Axe. Yeah, we'll buy the Woodsman's Axe. Yeah! And we will equip the Axe. Wowzers! Equipping the Axe replaced those weak cards with these powerful huh. new ones. Uh, mouse over slots, blah blah blah. Okay. So it's given us Chop, Weak Chop, and Weak Strike. So it didn't really replace the weak ones. Uh, what have we got here? A blunt sword. I'm guessing that's why it's only got bludgeon and simple strike, considering it is a weak sword. Right, well, that's us re equipped now. Do they have anything else to sell? It doesn't look like it. Yay! Okay, it's time to get back on the trail what? of those kobolds. 
Helbo searches the fields for the tracks uh, and finds a trail leading into the wilderness. And now... The Kobold Encampment. Uh, let's have a look. Begin adventure. You pursue the kobolds into the treacherous hill surrounding Omelette. Before long, a musty stench uh, alerts you to the presence of the remaining kobolds. It seems they are gathering their ill-gotten possessions and are making preparations to flee. It's up to you to stop them from warning the main camp. Right, so I'm gonna... Kill the advanced scout of kobolds uh -oh. in order to stop them warning the main force of kobolds. Okay. Enemies have to halt when they move next to you, so move to the yellow square to stop them surrounding you. Okay. And they're going to get into range. Oh. And we've got nothing but crap cards. Oh, ah, oh, he's got a block. God damn, so we did nothing. And then I'm going to get my head punched in. Yeah. This fight isn't going to go particularly well, is it? And um, we don't have any cards, so we'll pass. And we get our free movement card. And then we draw some more cards. We get walk, run, and chop. Fantastic. I think chop hits two people. It does indeed. That's great. Now I'm going to have to pass because I don't have anything but walk and run cards. And I'm going to have to pass again. There we go. Right. I end up with a hand of nothing. Oh my god, a hand of nothing but movement cards. Well, we'll take this guy out. We failed his block, which is good. And then we are going to run the hell away because I don't want to take any more damage. There we go, we've used up all of our movement cards. And we uh, didn't take any more damage, which is nice. Yay, finally we've got some attacks, so we'll let him move into range of us. Ah, oh, god damn it, he blocked. Those fucking block cards. Uh, he passed, so I think we'll just pass as well. Actually, I probably should have moved away so that he would have to at least spend one movement card getting him, getting back to me. Oh god, weak chop. Yeah. So I've got way too many movement cards in this deck. If I can edit that somehow, that would be nice. So he's passed. So I'm going to move away. So that next turn he has to move into range. There we go. Maybe I've just had some really, really awful luck drawing nothing but my movement cards. Actually, I don't need to chop him. Let's just... Weak strike. There we go. Finally took him out. Took him into a beaten mind. I was down to two hit points, but uh, <laughs> got it in the end. Aftermath. Having dispatched the raiding party, you overrun, uh, overturn their camp and liberate what items they had. Searching the area reveals a cave mouth and a crude earthen tunnel leading into the darkness under the hills. It is where the cobbles have come from. Oh, is this where the cobbles have come from? Only further adventures will tell. Let's collect our loot. Oh, we've leveled up. Woohoo! Huzzah, I leveled up and gained more health. Let's see what's there. Uh... We get another axe. And a cobbled killer. Right, let's have a look. See, we only have this many walk and run cards. I don't know why... Why I was drawing so many cards last time. Uh, let's have a look. Is this any better... What's this? Chop, weak, chop, weak, chop, and weak strike. It's exactly the same. The Cobalt Killer has violence. Oh my god, violent swing, bludgeon, simple strike, and weak strike. Yes. It is much better than my sword. And what did we collect there? We got, um... Unreliable block on a 6 plus. Right, okay. Uh, unreliable block. Lots of them. Okay, fair huh. enough. So, plenty of unreliable block. You know, you really should head to the armory to get yourself a shield. Yes, you are correct. I probably should. I hear uh, there are some new heroes waiting at the tavern too. All right, let's uh, head to the armory and pick ourselves up a shield. Oh, how convenient. A shield right there. What does that come with? It comes with weak block, which is a 3+, plus, and flimsy block, which is... 
Oh, block any damage of two or less, and this is block any damage of four or less. Uh, I think we'll sell El Blunt Sword because it's a bit awful, but we'll keep this axe just in case because I think. Oops. I think I need to go and hire somebody now, so they may need Yay. an axe. Ooh, a human wizard, an elf wizard, or a dwarf wizard. Uh, let's have a look. I think we'll go with human again because it's a nice all round. Ooh, what's that? Zap. Nice. Uh, little zap. <laughs> Alright, plenty of zaps. Um, recruit one of these crafty wizards for your party. We'll have this one. Uh, ooh, let's have a look. What should we call him? Norcol, Valgrim, Zilsteel. Finisil. Far Isle. Far Isle? Oh god, yeah. that's a weird name. Yeah, we'll get Far Isle. Wizards are long range attackers and can develop powerful magic, but they are Adventurers. fragile fighters. Let's pursue the kobolds uh, and return. Blah, blah, blah. Whoops, I've gone back into the tavern, I think. Um, How can I. Can I equip my party? Whilst no. Right, what have you got? You have a staff. Ah, right, your staff is all of your magical abilities, so there's no point giving you the axe, really, is there? No, okay. Right, let's um, let's go to the tunnels into the darkness. Yeah. This sounds ominous. Ambush! Uh, you light your torch and head into the cobbled tunnels. The passageway leads down and then runs straight for many miles before reaching a three-way intersection. While you ponder which way to go, a crude horn sounds and a mighty cobbled hero emerges to confront you. Uh oh. This sounds like it may uh -oh. hurt. Your wizard has long range attacks but needs line of sight to the target. Don't worry, I'll explain. Line of sight. Huh. Yeah, I think I understand what line of sight means. Oh. Yeah. Okay, let us get our warrior into range. Huh. Uh, okay, yeah. so if you get one of your... Okay, um, let's... Oh, there are no valid targets for Little Zap. Okay, let's just... Yeah. Chop him in the face, then. Sounds good. Uh, you need to move forward a little bit, apparently, because your stuff doesn't have very long range. Oh. Yeah. Gary had to pass already because he's out of attack cards. So I think flanking them like this does more damage. And uh, we've pretty much just kicked his ass. If I had one more attack card, then that would be it. And we'd have just won in one round, as it is, though. Um, we haven't. Spark? No, I don't want to. I don't want to spark him because that's gonna. Oh no, I'm gonna have to spark him then. Yeah, actually, I can just run him away and then spark. <laughs> because uh, I didn't want to electrocute the warrior, because that probably would have hurt quite a lot. The aftermath, the tunnel finally emerges high above the floor of a white skull canyon. Uh, so this is where the cobbled lair is. You will return with allies to finally stamp out these monsters and liberate the treasure they have stolen from the surrounding villages. Obviously, obviously the treasure is the most important part. Uh, oh, what have we got? A side of bacon. So it's a treasure item. Uh, Ozo's excellent wand and a golem cleaver. Nice. Uh, what does the Golem Cleaver have? It has Cut, Stab, and Bludgeon. Uh, I think they are all... Uh, chop is an AoE. And what does the Wand have? It has Telekinesis, Big Zap, and Little Zap. And that has some Spark, Zap, Little... See, these are good, but... Not that good. Although the big zap seems nice. I would lose the spark. Oh no, it's an arcane item. That's fine, it goes there then. 
Fantastic. Um, Hellball. I kind of want to give him this Golem Chopper. But I would lose... What would I lose? If I use the axe, I'd lose some chops, and the chops are great. And that, I want a Violent Swing, Bludgeon, Simple Strike, Weak Strike. I might just sell that. Okay. Oh, huh. the White Skull Canyon. Uh, don't forget to check the armory for new stuff before we wrap up this module. Ah. Oh, wow. Holy crap. That is a lot of stuff. Right, let's sell this axe. Sell this side of bacon. We'll keep that just in case. Um, what can... Oh, I, I would like some boots, actually. Um, if possible. What do these have? Run, hardy meal, and... Yeah. Well, I think we're okay for boots for now. Let's see if we can hire anybody else at the tavern. Nope, apparently not. Nobody in the tavern whatsoever. Let's go back to the armory. Uh, what does our wizard have? Boots has that. Uh, let's check the boots. Oh, that's good. Dusty armor. Having some armor would probably be good. What's that? A leaping attack. So like an attack from a square away, which would be nice. Right, you know what? Let's just... Uh, We'll, we'll, we'll come back to that, and uh, we'll just we'll get this uh, tutorial bit over with first. Returning to White Skull Canyon, you follow the windy, dry riverbed until you come to a high wooden wall. Suddenly, the gates are thrown open. Cobbled warriors rush forward, egged on by their high priest, Ig Gabig. All right, are we going to kill Ig Gabig, or is it just cobbles? No, no, there's, there's Ig. Right, well, you... I'm going to walk there, stop there and get through. Oh no, I've been electrocuted! Uh, you can bludgeon this guy in the face. And he blocks it. God damn it. I'm going to get weak striped. Right, let's back him again. Um, is anybody in range? No, so we are going to have to walk to there. And let's see what we got. We got Big Zap. Oh. Boom! Uh. Inspiration. I uh, don't know what that did. Right, let's just go with a little zap. Yeah. Should take him out. Uh. Uh, let's go with another zap. Uh. Nice. And then let's go with a run. Close this guy down so he doesn't get too far yeah. away. Okay, so he's going to heal every round. That's fine. And then we are going to have to pass. Let's see what we draw this time. Ah. Well. I think that's probably... Probably the best card I could have drawn. Bosh. 10 damage. Direct to face. GG! Victorious, you search the bodies while your back is turned. Ig Gibbon's fain death enchantment dissipates and the shifty little cobbled priest slips away deeper into the lair. After him. Alright, let's collect the loot. Open chest. Oh, it's a different chest. What have we got? A perplexing mirror and an arcane crown. Interesting. Uh, perplexing mirror gives me force bolt. Slide back. Oh, it's it's a knockback. Uh, and zap. And this gives me lots of force bolts. So not really bothered about those. Um, see that violent swing coming up big for me at the end there. I don't really want to swap that one out. Uh, the shaman's hut. Pursuing the cobbled priest, you corner him in his stinking hut. Now it's time for the final showdown with these murderous bandits. Alright, his hut's a little bit larger. Than the uh -oh. oh my god, there's a lot of guys here. Uh, this map has difficult terrain in it. You must stop moving when you enter huh. difficult terrain. Difficult terrain doesn't block line of sight like blocked terrain does. Okay. Let us see. Um, I think we'll go kill him first. Probably be the best thing to do. Oh, what's happened? Have I blocked it? Apparently I did. 
Right, uh, I'm going to kill him in one hit, because I've got Violent Swing, although I'm not going to be able to get into range of him this turn. So... You can go here, when he moves. Is he in line of sight yet? No, he's not. I'm going to walk up to here. Ah, you big fool. I don't know why you did that. Now you're going to take 10 damage to your face. GG. Uh, I'm going to have to pass as well. Uh, my warrior has drawn nothing but flimsy block and movement spells. So let's just get in here. Stop the wizard getting gangbanged from the rear. Well, flimsy block coming up big there. Uh, you have a strike, a little zap, and a spark. I think spark hits multiple oh, things. Why can't... Ah, I don't think I had line of sight there. And I still don't have line of sight. God damn it. Right, you get back to here. Okay, let us... Zap you in the face. And he blocks it. Cheeky. Uh, let us spark you in the face. There we go. Finally some damage. Um, I think I'm going to have to pass now. So we've taken out the big threat. We've taken out the, um, the guy. The boss. Um, yes, we're just going to big zap him. Dead. Uh, then we're going to bludgeon him. And he saves. Of course he does. Why do they always... Pass the saving rolls. Um, is this guy in range for anything? No. Let's just get a simple bludgeon or a weak shop. He's passing. Let's uh, move to here. Just to block him. Right. You are going to walk to there. Then you are going to get that. And then you are going to get hit with a stick. Excellent. The wizard's coming up big. Right, we're going to pass again. See what we draw. We just need one attack. Well, I don't actually. He's still on full health. I didn't realise that. I don't think he drew any... Uh, I don't think he drew any attack cards. We're going to put him there just in case. We don't want to leave this to chance. Zap you in the face. Wizard coming up big there with all the kills. GG. Searching through the muck and bodies, you recover what treasure you can. The cobbles are overthrown and put to flight. The villagers can rest well tonight. You are now fully fledged adventurer. Of course we are. Look at all that delicious XP. He's uh, leveled up. He hasn't leveled up. We'll open the chest and see exactly what we get. We get another side of bacon. Uh, oh my god, how much loot? Blessed Dragon Claw, some Amber Shards, and a Sparking Staff, which gives us, uh, what does that give us? Short Spark, hard to block, Spark. Ah, that's quite, uh, quite handy. Where does that go? That goes as Weapon, which gives us Spark, Zap, Little Zap, and Strike. Whereas this gives us some weaker spells, but more all round, and it's hard to block. So I think we'll, I think we'll go with that. And what's this? A dragon claw? Who who uses that? Rare divine item. Ooh, there must be a, another, probably a priest class that we haven't seen. Uh, so yeah, that's it. We are now fully fledged adventurers. Uh, ah, you've seen how useful peace, priests can be. Time to go and hire one. I think we're going to go with the dwarf priest because they're going to be a healer. So we want someone who is sturdy, not going to die. Drungdeb. Dronuf, Shazik, uh, someone who's going to be tough, Garazag, and not keel over so they can, uh, Azhuf, so they can, um, Slotchdeb, what name, so they can stay alive and heal for longer, Karazgot, God, there's some weird names, Backdron, oh Jesus, yeah. that'll do, yay, Okay, let's see what we can give back drawn. Oh, no, we can't do it here. Uh, right, well. 
looks like we are we are definitely definitely on our way so i think that's going to be it now for just a quick first look at the game uh if you enjoyed it and you think this is something that you'd want to see more of definitely leave me a comment in the comment section below letting me know and uh We'll definitely look at making more of these videos in the future. So thanks very much for watching, everybody. I've been Maxwell. This has been Card Hunter. If you want to give it a go yourself, there is a link in the description. Like I said, it is a free-to-play browser game, so open to anybody. All you need to do is register an account. So I've been Maxwell. This has been Card Hunter, and I will catch you guys next time.